Zachary Allen Starkey? Yep. Now, are you related to Ringo? No. Isn't that his last real name? Ringo Starr is... Uh, he was Starkey and he turned into Star. Yeah. So here we are. Yeah, it's it's like the Ringo, like Mar past and present. Like we're related. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah, and then there's Johnny Young. So <laughs> Johnny's an amazing musician. He plays only every instrument. So, um, And how many... Do you play instruments? I do. Yeah. I, I play... Uh, vocals, keyboards, guitar, bass, drum machine, and trumpet. So six. Right. And and how many are you? You you play like? Uh, could you even count? <laughs> piano and organ and bass and guitar and drums, real drum set. And then I could do drums off the keyboard sounds too. A lot of people do that without sequencing. So. All right. So that's. And singing, of course. Yeah. You can play in perfect time. Oh, he's yep, got yep. the best ears on the planet because yeah. Yeah. it helps to play to a click track because then you can edit your stuff. So sure. Do you produce all your stuff? Yeah, uh, I usually have a uh, a co-producer I work with. Uh, in the past, so my past records has been a guy named uh, Strange Things Moss, uh, and uh, he'll record me. I'll write. I you know I write all the music. I play all the instruments, and he kind of manages the boards and makes sure uh, that the technical engineers. stuff works. He engineers everything. And then um, I'm starting work on a new record in uh, January, and a guy named Brian Smith is going to be uh, the engineer and producer on that. Oh, cool. cool. So what are you doing these days? Uh, I've just been playing a lot. Yeah. Uh, I've been doing three or four shows a month for about the past year now, right? And yeah, uh, yeah just to promote uh, my last two records that I have done, and mm -hmm. uh, trying to do some photography stuff on top of that. Nice. Yeah. So did, did Sandy fuck you up? Yeah, we lost the show because of Sandy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so did we. Yeah. Everybody yeah. Lost. Everyone lost the show. It's because of the gas rash. I mean, my show was way out in Long Island, the Velvet Lounge, and they'd only give us $20. I can't get that back, $20. Ours was in Williamsburg, and it got canceled because the... Um, well, the storm hit the day it was supposed yeah. to happen. So oh, it got flooded. It got flooded, flooded. yeah. Oh, okay. And then um, we had a show the following Wednesday in Manhattan at this place called Art Bar on Bowery. Yeah. Right, that's why we're yeah. playing the 29th. Yeah. Art Bar is great. Yeah, and, we uh, love it. We didn't cancel that because uh, it was for um, a show, um, a weekly, a monthly series they have there called The Lost Parade, and the promoter's a great guy. But that was like the, nor the Northeaster. Uh -huh. I refuse to say Northeaster. The Northeaster hit that night, and so we all had to like haul our equipment to the club in the middle of what was basically a blizzard. Yeah, and it was for that five minutes. Yeah. It was bad. It was bad. I know. The most difficult time I have had getting into a gig in a long time. Yeah, but do you remember back in the day? Where are you from? Uh, I grew up in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Okay, so you had yeah, snow there. We're used to really, really bad. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's not like it was when we were kids. I mean, I remember winter time. There was feet of snow, yeah, exactly. right. and we would get around and Every do our thing. I remember going out at night sleigh. as, um, you know, it, the snow never stopped me from going to Mud Club. Right. It never stopped me. Yeah. I mean, and then you'd get tramps along New York City all night long on. in the snow, in my platforms. It didn't matter. Yeah. You know what happened to those days? Now it snows and we all freak out. I would say that some of the best times I've had, actually one of the very best nights I ever had uh, in terms of clubbing and going out here in New York was the night a big blizzard hit. This was like three years ago. Okay. And then... Um, when I when I uh, was a kid uh, in Columbus, 
I mean, you know, remember the winter before last, we had that really, really awful blizzard and like the city was totally unprepared for it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. is that the one Bloomberg got in trouble? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. If you grow up in Ohio, that's a very normal winter store. Right? We would go, as a little kid, we, we went to school in that kind of It weather. used to be normal just, here. Yeah. I don't know what happened. But it's not normal. Well, I have a feeling this winter's going to be nasty, though. Well, I have I a feel feeling. Like too. I have a feeling that people have been saying that they have a feeling, and I think Mother Nature is the one in charge. And mm -hmm. last year, people thought that, and it didn't happen. Don't fool around. It's yeah. Mother Nature. So you know, let's see. Let's take well, it one music storm like, what, at a time. What's to keep describing music, or give us an idea? Howard Jonesy a little bit. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Nice yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that. Yeah, it's kind of um a punky electro pop. Yeah. So yeah. like. Uh, uh, and Prima Primo are friends with you. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I love those yeah. guys. Prima Primo are one of my favorite bands Me too. to play with and to hang out with. Uh, they're amazing. They, they're both really, really sweet people. Very talented. Extremely and talented. They're and they, they rave you. about you as well. Uh, yeah. So, um, do you? So, Howard Jones is he a, a, an inspiration for you? He's not a direct inspiration. I'd say my. In terms of music, Depeche Mode, Depeche Mode, oh, okay. New yeah. Order, uh, Public Image Limited, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, um, Talking Heads, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, so stuff like that. Yeah. So when's your next show? My next show is uh, November twenty seventh. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, November. Yeah, very good. Well, yeah. I know every Wednesday's date because our show is okay. every Wednesday. That makes sense. That makes so sense. So then I kind of can tell off of a Wednesday, you know? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be at the Highline Ballroom as part of a... Uh, nice. Yeah, good which for is you. exciting. So we're doing that. And then we're playing in Brooklyn again on December 12th at Party Expo in Bushwick. Good for you. Bushwick is like the new black, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like playing in Bushwick. Yeah. I love playing in Brooklyn in general. Yeah, Brooklyn is cool. Yeah. yeah and now it's, it's that Barclay Center that's causing a ruckus. Yeah. I don't know why the traffic lately is just terrible. Because, of course, it's not, it's only going to get worse because of that place. Yeah. Well, the Barclay Center is... Um, it's has, awesome in its own right. It's a good and bad thing. I mean, what's yeah, great is that, is that, you know, later this month, I could walk from my apartment. I live in Bedford and Lafayette and Bedside. I could walk down Laf down uh, Lafayette Avenue. It's about a 17-minute walk to downtown Brooklyn. I go to the Barclays Center and see Neil Young and Patti Smith at the Barclays Center. Right. Now, nice. Now, as a little kid, you told me I could take a 15-minute walk down the street and go see Neil Young and yeah. Patti Smith doing a show together. I know. I wouldn't have believed you. But everyone's playing there. It's yeah, like, even the Stones are going to play there. Yeah, I just saw that. Yeah, so I'm hoping... When the Peshmo do the tour next year, they'll do the they like walk to the Peshmo gig, which oh I guess something I never thought would happen. That'd be great. They didn't yeah. play that long ago. They played a couple years ago. You would never drink and drive. Yeah. You could just drink and then walk there. Stumble there. <laughs> exactly. Like, Who needs a car? One thing I don't miss is if you live in Ohio, as you know, yeah. great, you have to have a car. Even I grew up right downtown in the city, but you still have to have a car. And one thing I do not miss. Yeah, here you don't need one. As you don't need I don't miss having my, my money. Sucked away by insurance and yeah. people. I feel sorry for people here in New York who drive. Right. The other night, um, the Friday after the hurricane, I was walking home. I went out uh, dancing in Williamsburg at Union Point. I was walking down Bedford Avenue home about 3 a.m. You I, always walk over the bridge? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I a love, nice bridge. I love walking over yeah, the bridge. Yeah, really, there's something really cool about it. I walked over during the blackout, which was really cool. Wow. And I walked out wow. to the Lower East Side in Chinatown. I went wow. down underneath the Manhattan Bridge at midnight because I'm crazy. Woo! It was one of the coolest things I've ever like It's like Escape from New York made real. Yeah, that's what it yeah. felt like. It did feel like that. But at this night I'm walking home and I see a line for cars at the gas station. Yes. And it stretched for, I counted, 15 city blocks. And it went down further past my apartment and I just thought, you know, these people are sleeping in their cars. They're so desperate. Last night? Cars. No, this is like oh, Friday okay. after the storm. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it was really, and it made me not miss driving. Yeah, it, it's really, it's 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 really a troubling time. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. But um, what's your website and and how many how many CDs do you actually have out? I have uh, two records out. The first one is called Solitaire, and the second one is called Communication, which has got uh, my big my big hit uh, hits, Cocaine and No Texting on the Dance Floor on them. Uh, Love that No yeah. Texting on the Dance Floor. Uh, yeah. Thank you. So how often do you see people texting on the dance floor? All the time. All the time. It's just a song I wrote about how people... Can you sing a chorus? It's, uh, sure. Uh, let me think of... Um, uh, <clears throat> 
you are you can actually sing. Okay, hang on. Um, I gotta remember the verse. I wanna do the third verse because it's the best one. Always. Uh, All right, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> I haven't sang acapella in a long time. <clears throat> your sex life is down, down, down. Because your eyes are always glued to the ground. You see the LCD, but you ignore their face. You're closer to being far away. No texting on the dance floor. I love it. Thank you. Woo! Love it. You remind me of that um, Adam, what's his name? He didn't win American Idol, but he was like the coolest one. Adam Levine? No, Adam no, Levin. Lambert. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Do you like him? Yeah, um, no. Do you know what he's like? <laughs> but, I don't watch American Idol, but I never No, but, but I don't either. But my ice kids, and they love Adam Lambert because he was good friends with that ice skater. Yeah, yeah he's cool. He's you know, flamboyant, uh, making it okay for middle America to be talented. Yeah, well, you're from Ohio, baby. Yeah. You know. Um, I get a lot of emails from people in Korea. And yeah. they're like, oh, you remind me of Adam Lambert. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I said that. No, no, no. It's not a big paper. paper oh, they only made this compliment. Well, yeah, whatever. I mean, I've had, I've had the same haircut and look basis since I was 14, so this predates him by... My look in a way predates him by a long time. Yeah, because he's retro. Yeah. Or he's trying to yeah. be. I used to get yeah, I used to get the shit kicked out of me in Ohio. So did we had that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we saw it as like, you know, uh E thing. And, and if that's what made me like him truthfully. Yeah. Like I, I had like no real opinion of him and but after seeing what he went through and his determination, it made me respect him a sure, lot. Sure, I think what is good is that he makes it more applicable for uh, people in middle America to see, um, you know, a prominent gay entertainer and realize exactly. he's a person, he's a human being, exactly. just exactly. like them. And he's, exactly. and he's talented. Oh yeah, oh, and he's he seen him. Yeah, exactly, I know. He's seen him with Queen now, I think, yeah. actually. Yeah, I think it with Queen. A lot better than Paul Rogers. Wow, so he's the Freddie yeah, Mercury. I don't know about Paul Rogers. I like Three Dogs Night as much. I like Three Dogs Night as much as anyone, but Paul Rogers is uh, not, not the right He's more of a rock and roll voice, you know, yeah. like gritty and, you know. Adam Lambert fits well show. with Queen. I think he, he's perfect for them. Yeah, so, I wouldn't say yeah. you would be, though. No, I could not no. say for Queen. So I, they're, 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 I draw the line. I know they tenor. have to be a tenor. Yeah, and be able to do multiple octaves. I'm lucky if I can get seven notes. Well, you sounded great. I love that texting on the dance floor. On our show, we like to get a skeleton from your closet, and today is National Fast Food Day, so that's why we have the fast food spread. So, um, do you have a good skeleton from your closet? Like I'm supposed to tell you an embarrassing thing. Exactly. About yeah. Sure. yeah. Um, Did okay. you do cat yeah. off your chest? Yeah. When, <laughs> what really happened under that Manhattan Bridge? <laughs> <laughs> when I was 14, I, uh, I loved this, um, this goth band uh, called Typo Negative. Oh, I love uh, that band! Typo Negative. It's his birthday. Yes, birthday. exactly. Yeah. I have it on my list. Peter Steele. And no, it's not Peter Steele's birthday. It's someone else from Typo. It's Josh Silver's birthday. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right. Josh Silver's right. a guitarist. Yeah. Anyway, I loved the type of negative. He's the when, keyboardist. Ah, uh, right on. I loved them when I was 14, and uh, they were my second concert that I ever went to. My first was My Life with a Throw Kill Call, and, but they were my second, and I had I made a t-shirt uh, with a friend of mine, and uh, it was a black t-shirt, and on the back, in glitter, it said, we don't care what you think, and of course, I thought that was really, really badass. Radical. Really radical and bad. I look back at it and I was like, God, oh, looks stupid. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to think of something more entertaining and embarrassing than that. I just, I'd have to think, I'd have to think for a minute. Okay, well, which kind of fast food would you want? And if something rings a bell, did you ever steal anything? Oh, sure. Can you tell us? <laughs> yeah. You, you'll get two. <laughs> Let's hear Many it. hearts. <laughs> I am. Um, <laughs> I am. Um, Used to, uh, I used to steal hair dye <laughs> from Kroger's, which is a supermarket in Columbus, Ohio, Pennsylvania. When I was a teenager, was, I was too broke. I grew up pretty poor, and uh, I used to, <laughs> there was actually this would be the real skeleton. Yeah, now I know. I remember it was a hot summer day. It was like it was the middle of June, and it was like 80 degrees outside. 
And I was with um, one of my punky, goffy, punky friends, and I had, you know, my hair was all teased up and whatnot. And I had, we were gonna go to the grocery store to steal hair dye, because we didn't have the money to buy any. And I wore a trench coat. I wore a trench coat. In the middle of June. In the middle of June. And I went to the store, because in the winter time, if you, you could, the, my pocket, Oh, that was my phone. Oh, uh, that but, was something just... Uh, but my pocket... From somewhere my, my own trench coat had a pocket right here, as as does this coat. had a pocket, so I would go in and I'd, I'd like slip the hair dye in my pocket. But, you know, this is the middle of effing July. I go in here, or June, whatever it was, in this big trench coat. And the miraculous thing was that I got away with it. Oh, they didn't even I know. Got, they, I got away with it. They were probably afraid you were going to expose yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for me. Like, look at this. Look at this pathetic kid. Um, so you get two things for that. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. I have mini burgers, fries, Coke. I'm sort of curious about the the gummy pizza. pizza. Go for it. The gummy pizza. There you go. And uh, and uh, I get one more. Why don't I try the. Ooh, gummy. I'm going to try one of these gummy burgers. Cool, man. So, so what's your website? It is uh, two. It is www.facebook.com slash Z-A-S music. And W, yes. yeah, Z, because Zachary Allen Starkey is what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, together, okay, so right. we just abbreviate. And when we play live, it's abbreviated because when I play live, I have a band, my friends, Katie and Allison. So we like to make, I like to make it feel more inclusive. Z-A-S. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then um, the SoundCloud, we can hear lots of music, is www.soundcloud.com slash Z-A-S music. And uh, if you type Zachary Allen Sarki in the YouTube, you'll get like, like 15 videos, nice. concert videos, some actual music videos. Awesome. Yeah. What's your next gig? Uh, November 27th at the Highline Ballroom in Maine. Right. That's okay. a big one. That's big. All right. It's going to be pretty cool to play on that stage. With all these, yeah, beautiful room, beautiful stage. You get to share the, you know. The, what, time, what time is that? Uh, the show starts, I think, at, at 8.30 or 9 p.m. Oh, okay. And then we'll probably go on around 11, I think. Nice. Yeah. And then we'll be at Party Expo in Bushwick on uh, December 12th. Beautiful. 12th, 12th. Yeah. That's a Wednesday. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I know. And that's going to be a really, really cool show. Yeah, we've yeah. got a few more days till the uh, end of the world. Yeah, I know. That's December a Wednesday. Right. Yeah. December it's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Wow. Well, we'll, be, we'll still be here for 12, 12, 12. So we will not be here for the next 20 minutes. And uh, this is a conclusion. And everybody the knows. Brooklyn edition of November at the Brandon Saloon. But we're supposed to be here 12, 21, 12. The day. Oh. Is that the day that the world's going to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll call you my That's going to be our next and Brooklyn don't edition. Our bar. Yeah. The R Bar. It's a great benefit. Uh, Sandy benefit at the R Bar on November 29th. And Monday night, Otto Shrunken Head, director Caroline Stewart of the Ruin Who Show's debut of her new band, Aaron. Aeon of Ether. Aeon of Ether. Aeon of Ether. And that's okay. November 19th, 9 o'clock, the debut of her brand new band. And then I'm actually playing right after her. Uh, and check out the Giant Flying Turtles video on YouTube. Yes. Plug for your life. Plug, 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 plug. plug. Yes. Uh, and we'll see you at the Brandon Saloon the day the world's supposed to blow up. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Hey, I'm Sean Head. We'll be back. Road show. Signing off. Signing off. Bye. Bye. Signing off. Bye. Yes. The name of well, the lead sing the lead single from the album is a song called Solitaire, which I feel is an excellent song. It's my favorite song on the album. And I I pretty much made this album mostly all by myself. I, I